Aubrey Gullah is, in many ways, like most kids at age five. An unrelenting well of energy, she has a dauntless personality, a strong will, a fierce love for those dear to her, and an unprejudiced acceptance for everyone she meets. Sadly, shortly after her first birthday, she was struck with a chronic illness that threatened to take her away from us. Our child was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. There were several warning signs that we just weren't aware to be looking for. At some point, she started peeing through her diapers every night. We'd be giving her juice because, you know, she, she didn't at the time really like to have just plain water. So we were giving her juice and, um, you know, not realizing that uh, this was going on. She was just completely lethargic. Um, she, uh, you know, it, it wasn't like uh, the behavior of a one-year-old. We uh, tried to get her out of bed and she just didn't want to move at all. Um, we brought her in and, um, and we were sitting in the waiting room, uh, waiting to be called in to the ER. And we're like, are we overreacting? She kind of perked up and you know, seemed to be acting a little bit nor more normal. They were starting to do some routine tests and her blood sugar ended up being 426. After a few minutes, a doctor came to see us and pretty much was like, your child has type one diabetes. We're gonna have to helicopter her over to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. But we were just so thankful that we did catch it when we did because uh, she was in diabetic ketoacidosis. Her, her ketone levels were in bad shape uh, when we brought her in. And, and that was another thing where I was like, I've never even heard of ketones. What, what does that mean? Um, so they, they had to kind of break everything down for us and, and explain like how exactly the disease works. Uh, I'm just so happy we caught it because it sounded like uh, she didn't have a lot of time left when, when she came into the hospital. So um, if we had waited much longer, it, uh, things could have gone much worse. Once we got the diagnosis and, and we were at CHOP for a few days and, and learning you know, what we need to be doing and how to be checking her sugars, how often, how to dose her with insulin and, and how to figure out her insulin to carb ratios like that. There was a lot more math than we had been used to that was suddenly part of our daily routine. If she's been running around a lot outside of springtime or she's going swimming, you have to give her an adjusted uh, bolus for lunch or again, uh, doing giving her some protein, cheeses and other things to try to help uh, keep her stable. And, it, and again, it, it's that marathon. It's not always going to be one way. Don't blame yourself. It's pointless and it just adds extra stress to, to everything you're doing. You just take every day as it comes and uh, you just have to do your best. Together we will continue to work to provide greater resources for everyone in our communities to better understand type one diabetes, be proactive in our response to its signs and symptoms and advocate for those affected by it.